Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome to Dash Brazil. We're going to be talking now with Royal Castanho. He's the proposal owner for Mexico remittance business, a very important market for Dash. Royal, welcome. How are you? Thank you. Hi, how are you? Nice, nice to be here. Raul, talk to us a little bit about your proposal because uh, you, you're from Mexico, you're based in Mexico, and Mexico today has the largest remittance corridor uh, in the world. I think it's about, what, $400 million uh, per month from U.S. to Mexico. And how important can this be for Dash? Yeah, uh, it's more than that. Uh, the, the corridor is more than $100 million a day. So it's close to 110 now. It's been growing uh, every year, and uh, so it, it is quite a huge market. Uh, and my proposal is uh, basically trying to get Dash involved into this big corridor, the U.S. corridor. The U.S.-Mexico corridor is the largest in the world on, on, remittance, on remittances. So uh, that's the objective of the, of the proposal is, is that. The, I'm not looking for other goals, not looking for merchants yet. Uh, it's, it's only based on, the, on that, on, on the remittance yeah. market. And, and, we, and uh, I mean, the proposal was approved in October, I mean, at the end of September 1st. And uh, we've done some good progress on that. And uh, we're looking forward to doing more. And, uh, and how is the crypto business today in Mexico? How is it, how friendly it is regarding exchange and accessible for those uh, Mexican Americans to change this money uh, back into Mexican pesos and spend at home? Well, um, the crypto market, is, there's a lot of enthusiasts in, on, on crypto, uh, but it's not well organized. There's bit so i mean the the exchange has one of the it's one of the largest in latin america i think it is the largest uh then uh we have kubovit which lists dash and is a, 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 a contender and doing very well and uh there's uh, some merchants uh, listed accepting cryptocurrencies but uh, it's all based on uh, point of sale systems and people are trying to get merchants listed. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of businesses accepting cryptocurrencies as, uh, as payment directly. It's mostly based on payment and um, point of sale systems. Uh, Dash has not a lot of traction yet. Uh, I, I, I mean, we just got the dash pair on Kubovit uh, a few months ago, like three or four months ago. So uh, there's a lot of work to be done. But first, I mean, we have the same problem as everyone, the the chicken or the egg thing. Yeah. And I think the, 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 the remittance market is the big chicken. <laughs> yeah, no, no kidding. Well, I was just in Argentina, uh, now in Uruguay. Uh, uh, last week, and uh, at the at the meetup over there in Argentina, we ended up meeting uh, uh, two guys. They actually have a plan, a project to open another exchange in Mexico, which uh, I already got an interview. I don't know when they're gonna make the announcement. I'm not gonna mention their name yet because I wanted them to make the announcement first, and then I'll put the interview on air. But they're also gonna have Dash, and it's gonna be another option for Mexico uh, uh, to have this as well. Uh, but today. <laughs> Today, what's the what's the main thing that you you that you see the difficulty for for the Mexican Americans to start using Dash cryptocurrency to send it back to uh, to Mexico and not the traditional bank system? Uh, the main problem is the the it is quite complicated for the layman to get to buy Dash. Uh, that, that's that's my main concern. Uh, the, the people are not used to going into an exchange and understanding how these uh, postings and, 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 and agreements work. And, uh, and there's very few platforms where you can buy directly. Uh, and these platforms are generally expensive. They are not as, if you go to an exchange, you can buy a 
with a little margin, uh, with a little fee payment. But if you go to an ATM or a, or a site that sells stash directly, it will be quite expensive. So that's my main my main concern now. We on the Mexican side, uh, we have now this Remesasa platform, and uh, it's it's I mean that's as easy as it gets. You just send Dash to an address, and the uh, the person uh, receives receives the, 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 the pesos instantly. I mean, in less than five minutes. Very nice. So it's the American side that is what we're working on, trying to get some somebody to to work with us. Well, very nice. Well, we're going to keep a, no, a close eye uh, in the Mexico uh, uh, market as well, as Latin America is probably the biggest uh, cryptocurrency market. It has a lot of potential. And uh, I hope we can meet again and, and then uh, uh, talk some more. Thank you very much, Ramel.